We're back out this morning on a river. I'm not going to say where it is yet because if it's really good, then we want to keep it under our hats. But uh, yeah, we thought we'd give it a try and uh, let's see what we can get. Steve's had a throw in already, and Nicola have. So, uh, and let's say there's plenty in here, so let's have a look. down to show you this because it's really heavy but uh looks looks like it's a trap chair um sometimes when you rub them down they have a date on them so let's have a look at that see if it's got a date on it but yeah those are heavy Ooh. a railway track chair is a support structure that holds and aligns railway tracks these track chairs can date back to the early 19th century you may have also heard us in the past mention railway fish plates. Fish plates were a metal connecting plate used to bolt the ends of two rails together. The name fish plate derives from a wooden reinforcement of a ship's mast that helped to create its desired profile. No, quite can't we? That can't be. I think that needs a clean up, but that's... That's definitely got to be cleaned up. <laughs> Victorian fire grate there. Now this one, I'll show you. This is a small one, so this one's actually come out of a Victorian bedroom. Because the old Victorian houses always had smaller fires with shallower grates, and that's what that is. Oh my god. Piece of flat bar. And this. That's an interesting piece as well. That's a very interesting piece. Not sure what that is. Something's telling me to keep a hold of it though. Ah, I can have a clean up of this and see what this is now. Oh, 
Uh, I wasn't sure if that was part of a hand cannon, but <laughs> I think I'm clutching at straws there. Got cannon on the brain at the moment. It's understandable. That's an old one. Been in there some time. No, we got an old cash box here, look. There we go. Oh god. Oh well. Testing something on again. Oh, we got a scooter. Here we go, guys. A scooter. That's a that's a straight cannon, isn't it? That's a straight ballard. Base to an old lamp. So yeah. These would have been lamps at some time. So I'm wondering if it yeah. was lamps that were there previous. I bet it is, isn't it? So wait in it out. Not much at all. Clearly as heavy as that can. And look at all the scraps even Glenn have pulled out. Look at all that of this side. So I'm going to come and this scooter because I've not shown this scooter yet. I've just had this one out. Ah. That's my third one today. This one's got dials on lock. Oh, what's posh? It's got a speedo. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? I think it's telephone wire or, or fencing wire. You got here. Oh, that's a big old hammer. That's a railway hammer. Oh. What you got? Oh, it's got, it's got a little wibbly wobbly. No. That's um, a peg. It's a marking peg. Yeah. For fishing and stuff like that. Look at that old railway hammer. Oh my life, look at that, that's old. That's proper old, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh God, I wonder if it's going to ride on it. Could have BR on it. My bird for clean up, bro. Yeah, another one for going back. I don't get them sorted out very often. Yeah. See, it says New Bridge. Oh, it, could, oh, it could be an electrical contact, contact it. Bath, England. Something gear company. There's no screen on the other. That looks like a cable goes in there. It's a cable drive of some sort. Careful because that could be glass on the top. It's an old speedometer or something. It is, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's an old speedometer. Is it? Yeah, possibly off an old motorbike. You know the old Hondas and that back in the day, back in the 70s. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Because it's cable driven. Yeah. The cable goes in there. It's either a gear. That's mine. I don't know, but I might need a lift in a sec. Wow. Old speed on his rest in the air. It's a big old scooter. Oh, it's an old scooter, that. Get some of this weed off. That is old. It's a BMX one. Oh, well, it's too far gone to restore, isn't it? Yeah. That's a big old scooter. Well, I've just popped across to uh, ask the guys. But well, I think we think it's a speedometer of something. But yeah, it's got all right in there. I don't know if we can see that. Actually, this intriguing device turns out to be a 1930s gas street light timer, and is an example. This device was designed to control the illumination of these iconic gas street lights. Installed in control boxes nearby, these timers automatically ignited the gas lights as dusk fell, and extinguished them at the designated hour. Imagine the bustling city streets bathed in the warm glow of gas-powered lamps, all managed by this remarkable small piece of equipment. I've only gone and done it, Anna. Pinky spoon. <laughs> A single bed. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Glenn. You go on. I don't know why. Little ring. Yeah. We're doing well for rings on Pinky Dippers. I don't know. I've just pulled this bit of pipe off and just spotted it on there. It looks gold, but it's magnetic, so it's not gold. made to look like a little wedding band or something. That's a keeper. <laughs> Glenn showing you us his ninja skills. <laughs> yeah, I'll save that. That can go back for the fines. Mm. Yeah, you can tell it's an old. Do you got? Oh, you've got a satellite dish. Glenn can phone home now. Yes. Are you picking anything up other than snails? Snails in space. Babe Station. <laughs> Guess what I've got, Glenn? You got, what you got, Steve? A flange! <laughs> <laughs> We got a flange. It's definitely a flange this time. Yes, that's definitely a flange. Look at that. That's an old one, isn't it? That's an old <laughs> school kids' bike. Look, look at the handlebars on that. Oh, plug in one as well. <laughs> it's electric bike, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's old. I pulled the bench in. <laughs> and we're going to do some benching. Me and Steve. Some benching? Yeah, we're going to do some bench lifting, aren't we, Steve? Some benching. If it's a nice one, can we take it home? No. <laughs> <laughs> be fair, if the wood breaks, I will have the bench ends. Whoa. Oh. That's what I was stuck on over there then, Steve, remember? Ah. How are we going to get this over? Grappling hook. I'm going to have to go grappling hook on this, I think. Yeah, I think you are. Ah, 
I'll have to I'm move. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just pinch me on your pump. Oh. oh my word. At least we'll have somewhere to sit. A bench. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. With the Evo 80 from online magnets. Down here and get my magnet off. Yeah. Oh. Oh. If that's not an advertisement for a magnet, I don't know what it is. <laughs> This for a nail, Glenn. What the hell? That's an old one, isn't it's it? An old roll stuff now, isn't it? The kind of roll stuff. A very old one, that one. Yeah, very old. Now this is an old nail. That's what they call a rose top. Blacksmith's made. It's in really good condition. This one as well, actually. Well, that's got to be early 1800s, early, easy. It's definitely crudely black shot made. Look at the shine, eh? Look at the shape of that, though. That's, uh, that could be a musket it? barrel. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, Flintlock. Yeah. So that could be the, what remains of the handle. Trigger. That could be, yeah. The hex, this looks like a hexagon barrel. I think that, <laughs> I think that is. I think that. I think it is. I think that's a musket. <laughs> I said what? I think it is. What do you guys reckon? Do you think that's a musket? Do you think that deserves a clean up? So what you got? Well, I think it's a musket. No. It's a hexagon barrel. Look at the barrel. The tapers out, got the what looks to be part of the trigger mechanism and the hammer on the side, crudded up. Well, that's an old one, that. Well done. Cheers. It's definitely a musket. So I've pulled up this lump of crud, and uh, if you look there, there's a musket ball. Oh, yeah, I can see it right there. And we don't know what any of this stuff is until I tap it off. We've got to be careful tapping stuff off around it, it's very, very clean, so... Could be anything in there. Could be anything Absolutely. in there. Yeah. We'll check that in a bit. Check your crude. Well, yeah, but you're not going to wait with them, are you? I've oh. got the full kit. And that one. Knife and fork. You're not going to believe this, there's a restaurant here. They haven't got any cutlery, because it's all in here. And this... I think it's an earwax. Yeah, it's got a blade thing on the other end. It looks a little bit like the snuff spoon from last week. It's not that. Uh, personal grooming item, I think. And a scooter, but I haven't shown you that. <laughs> well, I'm sure I've seen something like that. And a griddle. It's kind of griddle. What's that? Yes. Is it cast iron, Bob? Yeah. Fish, uh, fish skillet, fish, isn't it? Fish plate, isn't it? Fish skillet. Fish skillet. So we've got a fish skillet, and if you look carefully, we've actually got a coin stuck to it. We've got a coin stuck to it, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what was stuck to it? Modern five pence. Oh, oh, well. oh, I dropped the ball. Oh, uh. that's a medieval urinal. Look at this, it'll go up to a piece of concrete. Whoa! Look what she's got. It's a BB, isn't it? It's a BB. Is it? No, it's not. 
dentist. It is, Steve. It's orange, it's blank for her. Yeah, it is. It's a little PPK, isn't it? Yeah, it's based on the PPK, yeah. Oh, God, Steve. Well done, Marie. Thank you very much. There we go. A little uh, good for you. PPK imitation. Here you go with the toy guns. Well, yeah. Yes. The toy gun. Here you go. Oh, Put them on the so people can see. Wow, look at that. That was heavy. You just stood and watched. <laughs> I was saying, pull it up, Norwich, pull it up. So you said that, I think it's a motorbike uh, mirror. And I've had some keys as well. Modern keys, look. Somebody's car, look. Yeah. Was that heavy? Some more keys here, look. Yes, it was heavy. Oh, you got some more keys? Some more keys amongst all that crud, mm. but there's a little round thing there. We'll take that back and clean that up in I case like, it's I like you and round things. And what, so do, what do you reckon that is, Mr. Fox? That's a uh, you, I have no idea. I don't think this is part of this. I think I've just got a load of different bits. I've got that thing, some steel drumstick. Nut and bolt. This thing is great. Let me get this off here. Ah, that was attached to that. Does Mr. Fox want all these as well? I mean, this is like his birthday today, look. So there's that thing. All these couplers. Whatever that is. And uh, then this great big pole, which had rope around it. And that was that was attached to the rope. That's interesting. <laughs> the police were certainly on the ball today. Unbeknown to us, this bridge is covered by CCTV, and they have saw me pull out a gun. So this is me showing the officer that it's only a BB gun. But what a quick response that was. Okay, look at that. I can't even hold it properly so you can see it. Dinky winky key. She put one of them in arrow. I don't know. Roadside. So we just got that guys. I think that's off the top of those old kettles, but you know. I've had a few of them there. So this came right the way from over there. Big gang in Masky. Look at that. There's no way nothing. Have you been here? Oh, they're a nice little knife. They're a nice little knife, and I've got a measuring tape as well. There we go. That's a nice little uh, fishing knife. The blades fell out of it just as I put off a magnet. 
But it'll be a nice knife. Here we go. There we go, guys. Got a knife. Good morning, still. Is this your hair clip? What? Yeah. Oh, is it? I've only bound it. No, oh, Nick. You know what that is? An old lightning rod? Yeah. That's nice. Hooray! What's that? I think it's a lightning rod off the top of a building. Oh, look at there you go. that. Oh, that is a lightning rod, yeah. That's beautiful. So that's going to be off one of these, either that building or that one. Definitely Georgia. That's history. That's gorgeous. There you go, Nick. Well, Nicholas found that. <laughs> <laughs> Another one out. So there you go, guys. Another, another bike. That's uh, two or three now. Come out tonight. Yeah? We had one down at the other bridge. That's a post. I thought it was kind of busted to a piece of metal then. I still got one a knife. Yeah, looks like a cannonball, doesn't it? What's the pruning sort? It's got an eye. That still does some damage, that wood. So that was Nicholas Point guys, even out on the head cam. Who's Nicholas? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a big massive sword here, Nick. That's got two mana. <laughs> Thank you, no problem. Of old uh, pesters there, look, guys. Okay, guys, so Rusty's brushing down, all the scraps gone, the scrap man's been. I'll put a photo onto the video so you can see. And uh, there we go, it's all nice and clean, all washed down. We've got Mr. Fox, we've got Nicola from Dudley Dippers, and we've got Marie, and you've got me as well. But yeah, it's been a brilliant day here, um, and we might even come back. Back. Yes, so I shall see you guys on the finds because we've had some okay ones to be fair. So I shall see you soon, guys. Bye. Hello. This week, this week's pointless, pointless architecture is <laughs> these steps here. Well, allow me to demonstrate. Are followed by these steps here. <laughs> What's the point of that? Utterly pointless. <laughs> Honestly. 
see you next week. Right, it's morning time in the Peaky household. Rocky's there trying to get in on the camera, but it was Glenn's birthday, so I've grown a little present. Thank you, bro. I'm dreading it. Here you go, lover. <laughs> Here you go, my lover. <laughs> I'm dreading this. <laughs> yeah, so as you all know, everybody, it was my birthday, and uh, Steve, being Steve, bought me a t shirt that's about two sizes too small and with his face on it and I've been forced to wear it have a number of so <laughs> I hope you've all had a good laugh and a joke about it but yeah uh, what can I say, what can I say never thought I'd have uh, rusty nuts all over me who's now peaky anyway so we went to a lovely bridge location and uh, it was on a river and we had some nice bits out one one of my favorite finds as well two favorite finds so i'll run you through if you can take it seriously i was gonna say if i can do, do this seriously I'll run, <laughs> I'll run you through what we found <laughs> so we had the peaky spoon that was quite early in the day i think steve had that steve and we had three lots of knives and the old only thing is about one of the knives, well I suppose all of the knives, is on air. So she filled. Oh dear. So Steve come all the way down here and pull a knife out down here from Sheffield. Then we've got a fork. Then, um, I don't know if you remember but um, Steve thought he had the barrel to a musket. This is where I can get my arm back on Steve a little bit now. <laughs> it wasn't a musket. I broke the crud off it. <laughs> and it was that. But to be fair, it, it was look, deceiving. It did look like one, didn't it? Yeah. We we couldn't see the end of there, so we thought that might be all out. It had the hexagon shape to it, and they had a big build up of crud. So we did think... Oh, well, Steve thought barrel to a, an old flintlock or something, but no. It's just a chisel, Steve. If you want it, I'll keep it for you. There we go. Uh, I pulled up this thing, what you did, didn't you, Mary? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I've seen one, and I can't remember what it was, but um, it looks like a potato masher, doesn't it? But. <laughs> I just do not have a clue if anybody out there can help with this and then fire away, uh, give us some ideas because I do not know. I've even put it on Google Lens and it's not recognising it. Then uh, we had a very, well it says it was a very posh drugs spoon but we have indeed found out since that this spoon, you've got some in your... Uh, oh yeah, have, set? yes, the, the, to measure out... Uh... You know, tablespoons, off, yeah. you know, off so tablespoons. So it's not a naughty spoon, it's a... Uh, it's for cooking. It's for cooking. Or baking, should I say. Teaspoon, there you go. So that's that. Then, I had this thing out. Now, two weeks running, I've had one of these. Yeah, like a little scoop thing. It's like a little scoop, and then it's got a little blade on the end. Now, somebody did mention to me in the comments about the last one, it could be a cuticle pusher. And I'm wondering whether that blades to, you know, like cuticles, stuff like that. Yeah, right uh, Not that I look after my nails, but um, I have also thought, is it an ear scoop? For no. earwax, because some people have said that as well. But then I wouldn't like to stick that blade in my head. Or I was thinking, could it be something to do with fishing? Like a fishing I have no idea. <laughs> and I was also thinking... Um, no, you don't matter. I forget what I was thinking now. But yeah, it could be three th one of three things, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. So, give me your opinions, guys. Also, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is it something to do with smoking? Like, uh, 
Do you like pipes? The pipes to cut up, to shred up your tobacco? I don't know, I don't know. But there you go, guys. Found a poker chip. Oh. There you go. Just poker chip, random. Um, now we've pulled out this. This is another mystery piece. Again, it's probably something very obvious, but it's got that out there and it's got this out here. It's got a screw on the end, like a thread. Um, it's got an hole there and it's got an hole there. So, is this a car part? Is it off a, a, some part of the shocking part of the car? That's what I'm thinking. I might be totally wrong. I don't know about cars. But, let me know what you think, guys. It's effort. It's probably about one and a half kilogram in weight. So, that's that. Then Nicola was with us and she tried for about an hour to pull this up and I pulled up in the end. But uh, yeah, yeah, come in handy for the garden. And that's this. Like a pruning saw. Mm -hmm. That was nice. That was a nice little find for Nicola, but uh, I've had it off her. And it's still close. It's an Alpin's look. Um, trying, to, trying to show. Right, I've got a drying lid. This was heavy when uh, this got clapped onto the magnet. But it's LCW. Now, I'm not going to say where that is, but it was, we think it's the area obviously we was in. And uh, You like things with embossing I, and stuff. I like things with writing on because some of the drain covers now, they, they don't have the writing on, they're just squares and that. I like a bit of social history, so it'll paint up, it'll do for somebody, somebody will have it. Then we've got a very old hammerhead. Ooh. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know what hammer is to what, but that's a hammerhead and it's old. Then we've got a big hammerhead. Oh, I forget, was it me or Steve pulled this up? I think it was Steve. Steve, yeah. Yeah. Now, we reckon this could be a railway hammer, but I've cleaned it, well, I'll say I've cleaned it up. I've knocked as much crud off as I can and I haven't come across any writing. We, we thought it might have had British Rail writ on it or BR. But uh, I have still got to do some more cleaning on that one, so I don't know. But it's a good lefty hammer head, that mm. is. Yeah? I'll say those, those two hammers, I haven't seen any of them come out. Well, we haven't pulled any of those out before, I don't no, think. No, we haven't. We've probably had one or two of them before, but... Oh, have we? Uh, yeah. Not that other one. Another mystery item, guys. I do apologise. That thing. I recognise it. I can't think what it's off. And I've looked on Google Ends and it's saying I'm all crazy and I don't think it is. It could, it could even just be a, a pedal off a push bike, off an old bike, I don't know. So again guys, I'm sorry, but I don't know what it is. Weird. Steve found a little ring, but it's magnetic. So it's just a piece of costume jewellery, small little ring. There we go. Always nice to find a bit of jewellery though, isn't it? even if it's costume jewellery. Yeah. Uh, Marie got the police on us because within a minute of her showing it the camera like this, <laughs> the police come down because oh, no. <laughs> it was only around the corner, weren't they? And there was and, all, uh, all they CC. wanted to just check it, and it's a BB gun as you can see. They've been guys. watching us on CCTV. They've been watching us on CCTV. I know. No, but it is good to know that they're watching. And uh, yeah. to be fair, um, if you're mounting onto a camera, it's going to cause some alert. So yeah. It's just an old BB gun, guys. The magazine's not in it. Um, it's just a, a toy, basically. Um, and it's probably not something I'd keep, to be fair. I don't think it's even working. So, all the paint's come off it. And I've scraped some of the paint off it myself, if I admit it, because I was wanting to see if there was any writing on it, but there isn't. It's just a, a cheap BB gun. Then... Now, I pulled a big piece of crud up, and it had, I, I don't know if it, it'd be on the camera, it will, but there was a big piece of crud all on this, and it had all different bits, and I thought... Oh, yes, yes, it is on I there. I thought I'd got a, a little musket ball, but it wasn't one, it was a piece of plastic. But? But, as I was cleaning up the crud, I came across this, and I'm doing really well for finding coins in crud for the last few weeks, so, check your crud. But this is a ship's half penny, 1940. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's not worth nothing, but it's 
It's history. Of course it is. 1940, that's what? 80 years ago? Mm -hmm. So that's, it's still a nice find. I really like that. 84 years, 84 or 85 years. So it's still an old coin, but it's not worth nothing. But it'll go into my collection anyway. Last but not least, this is probably my favourite find to be fair. So Marie pulled up this thing and we thought, oh, we thought, what the hell is it? It's got a brass top. It's got, it had brass on the back, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, obviously the dial. in there would have been the dial. And this actually is a 1930s street lamp timer. Gas street lamp. A gas street lamp timer. So, yeah, that's a social history at its best. Unfortunately, this was in, as you can see, it's irreparable. Yeah, but the cover. But the cover of it. You have done an amazing job on that. So the cover that came off it, oh God, it must have been around that way. The cover that came off it, was like that, but I noticed it was brass. Well, you can clean brass up. So I did. I'm keeping this piece. Look at wow, that. Wow, look at that. And it was thanks to this piece, to be fair, we found out what it was because we Googled it. And uh, yeah, if you go onto this company, it shows you exactly what that is. And that's, that is a, that's lovely. a street, a gas street light timer. Yeah. So I'm having a moon with that. It's a nice little piece, to, you know. It's it. Social it's history. Again, it's history, isn't it? Even guns and bombs, everything. I, I love history, and especially when you've got writing on it, you can, you can research it, and that's what I like. Right, now, it's got that time of day you've all been waiting for, which is... Da -da -da -da, we're giving two more of these away to people that was on the live last Sunday. Perfect. So we've put all their names on a wheel, and we're going to roll the wheel and see who wins them. So there's two lucky people going to win one of them each. Yep. Play pipe bracelets, as we call Wistery. Right. So it's time for Pe for Peaky's Wheelie Good Giveaway. Right, so let's get the laptop. Oh, I'm excited. Let's see who the lucky two people are this week to win. And um, like I say, if you want a chance to join into this, guys, just, all you got to do is come on the live at 3 o'clock on Sundays, British time. And uh, even if you just say hello, you'll be put onto this wheel. So let's spin the wheel. Good luck. Alison Plant. Plant. Oh well, wow, well done Alison. Um, well done Alison. I should get this straight to you. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because of this top. Um, I should get one of these straight to you my darling and uh, you've won one. Yay! Perfect. So that's the first person. Yeah. Ooh, who's the next one? So well done Alison. Of Alison. Congratulations Alison. I've removed you from the wheel now so I think you can't come up again for this one. And let's spin the wheel for the second time. Ooh. Anna Ames. Anna Ames. Oh, well done, guys. So, congratulations to Anna. Um, oh, well done, both. That's a, that's brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. So, um, that's it. The, the, the link will be underneath. You to get in touch with your uh, addresses and emails, whatever. Yep. Uh, for Mrs. Peak to sort of actually sort of that side of the day. <laughs> oh, the editing, bless her, she's brilliant. Oh, but... um, so, yeah, congratulations to you two uh, oh. ladies. And it's nice to see some ladies, wouldn't it? It is, because I think it was two uh, two men that won it last week. Two ladies that won it yeah. last week. So, it's got so. nice and equal. So, Anna Ames and Alison Plant, you've both won one Perfect. of these. Wistery. <laughs> And it's been touched by Peggy. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so there you go. So, oh, that's brilliant. Big love. Like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. I've got a very, very good week coming up soon. Ooh. I'm not going to say no more than that. <laughs> um, from Mr. Fox. From Marie beyond the camera. From me. And from him. 
<laughs> we bid you farewell and uh, we'll see you on the live on Sunday, 3 o'clock British time. See you later guys, big love.